For those of you who have seen the movie Cars, you may know the saying, turn right to go left. And yeah, this is true for drifting. If I turn right, I'm going to go right. But, you know, as you see in the movie, it's all about drifting, guys. Drifting is a huge thing in Mario Kart, um, all Mario Karts, and this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but basically, this is a very simple video. We're just going to go over how to implement the whole idea of turn right to go left in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, most of you probably know about counter steering, which is basically like, I'm doing a drift to the left right now, I'm holding left, but then I can hold right, and now I'm counter steering. It's a much wider turn. And, you know, you can wiggle your stick to really get the best alignment to do certain things like, you know, that. And then, like, here I can counter steer to the right, and then I'm going to drift to the left, get the super mini turbo, right? And counter steering is a very general thing for my German friends, Gegen Lenken, counter steering. Um, it's a very general thing, but this video is very specific. We're just going to focus on a very small portion of it, which I like to call avoidance, also known as turn right to go left. So here's just a general example, and then it's like this is uh, not a time trial strategy. Basically, avoidance is if things go wrong, you need to fix your alignment, you need to avoid whatever you're about to hit. And we'll get into it in a second, you guys will see the power of turn right to go left. Or I guess turn left to go right also works. But let's see, like this turn, I can go like this, I can commit a hard left turn, and then I take the shortcut like that. But if I'm going for the shortcut, and I do a drift to the left, but then I counter steer to the right. I'm all the way over here at the glider. And, you know, I've, I've changed my alignment towards, towards the right, sorry. And then I can do this whole shortcut. And, you know, that's like a simple example of counter steering for those who don't know. If you hold right, you go wide. If you hold left, you cut in. If you're drifting right, you hold left to go wide. You hold right to cut in. Now let's get into the, the big example of the video. Avoidance mode. Turn right to go left. We're going to go over to Mount Wario for me to demonstrate this. All right, so the way drifts work in this game is if I want to drift left here, I'm going to drift left. And you kind of, you know, you can start wide and then cut in. The, the way you really cut in tight is by starting wide. And so basically, when you start a right drift, it's really easy for you to start. So here I'm going to start a left drift. It's really easy for me to go to the right at the beginning of the left drift, go to the right, and then I can cut in to make the left turn. And this is very useful for avoidance mode, where basically, you know, the number one thing that you don't want to do in Mario Kart is like fall off the track or, you know, bump into a wall. All right, to avoid overcomplication, what I'm getting at here is in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the fastest way to turn a direction in the shortest amount of time is to drift in the opposite direction, also known as turn right to go left. Let me show, what I, let me show you what I mean. If I'm going to trick off this ramp and, you know, let's pretend that I wanted to, you know, go right immediately as I landed, if I were to trick like this, and then drift to the right to go right, you know, I get to the right, and now I'm like really sharply to the right, but the shortest amount of time, like if, let's say, you know, here's an example, let's let's move up. The reason why this isn't really something you see in time trials, and this is more for specific online situations, is because it's, a, it's like an improvisation to fix something. You know, you don't want to be in the situation, but if you are, and you're about to fall off a track, or you're about to hit a wall, the fastest way to avoid it is to drift the other way. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to trick off this ramp and I'm going to be pretty close to falling off the track and the track is to the left. So in theory, I would want to go to the right in order to not fall off on the left side. But let's say, let's see if I can get this. If I mushroom and I'm like, oh no, I'm going to fall off. Let me drift to the right. I fell off. And yeah, Mount Wario is slidey. It has slidey traction, but this is true on all tracks. When you start a drift in a certain direction, let's say I start this drift to the left or let's, let's say this drift up here, I'm going to start it to the right you kind of go wide, you go to the left, and then you're able to cut in after you've initially gone wide, after this first like slide, you'll see like the little slide marks. All right, so once again, in this ramp situation, obviously it wouldn't be this specific track, but you'll see it show up. You know, if you need to avoid a banana on the ground, if you need to avoid hitting something else like a wall, but you know, if, if you need to avoid hitting something really fast, like it's mostly I use this, this is very specific. I use this strategy when I'm landing from a jump, because in the air you don't have that much control over yourself, you see that you're about to land into something, you need to get around it quickly. So, you know, you use the drift, but you don't actually like maintain a drift. But anyway, all right, so let's say I'm going to fall off here. The fastest way to switch direction in the shortest amount of time is to start a drift in one direction and then go the opposite direction. So let's say I'm driving here and I'm like, oh no, I'm going to fall off. Start a drift to the left and then immediately go right. And you can see I got sent to the right. I turned left to go right. I know that's not the saying, it's turn right to go left, but I mean, guys, you get the point. That's, that's the strategy. 
and you know in time trials it's like hard to show but yeah you know if you're gonna land from a ramp boom avoidance mode all right let me just show one more example by the way the reason i'm using roy on the wiggler is because i just feel like the animation really exaggerates the visualization of drifting like the way everything moves in the wiggler and roy himself but yeah you know let's say like this is a long right turn right so i'm gonna drift to the right but i'm gonna start going towards the left and i'm committing to the long turn to do my right drift but in avoidance mode in the turn right to go left situation it's a very short term thing like you're just you're getting out of the way so you know i'll try to set up an example here it's hard to set up examples in time trials because the whole thing is in online when there's a banana on the ground or you need to avoid a wall or something and so let's say you know let's say i'm driving here um all right let's try to time it with this train let's say i'm gonna trick to this train i'm like oh no i'm gonna hit this train drift to the right to go to the left and then you see i cancel the drift really quickly i just all i'm doing is i drift to the right immediately pointing towards the left and technically it is a right drift but i just get sent to the left that's the whole idea drift right to go left turn right to go left but obviously you don't want to do that like around a turn like this otherwise you're going to end up in a cactus or something like you're going to be like oh i need to drift left to go right like no 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 that's for a, for a turn you drift in the way you want to go and then you counter steer around stuff like that pole for example but in a train situation or something when you need to avoid something boom right boom uh let's see i'm gonna run to this pole boom avoidance i'm gonna run to this pole boom avoidance drifting one way immediately going the other direction dog cuts will be proud no cacti will be hit and yeah we're good that's gonna be it i feel like this was a really weird video but i don't want to like explain everything because there's a lot to talk about just in terms of counter steering itself i'm gonna hit this boom avoidance mode bro bro avoidance i'm gonna hit this or no let's see i'm gonna hit this train boom avoidance right the whole thing of just sliding around right i'm gonna start to drift to the left no sorry i'm gonna start to drift to the right in order to slide to the left right let's say i need to avoid this train start to drift to the left then go to the right start to drift to the left then go to the right okay this that's enough of that let's one let's do it one more time uh so turn right to go left would mean that you do a right drift to go left and so yeah technically you are pointing to the stick to the left but the whole point is that you do it after you've initiated the right drift so i'm gonna hit this thing nope turn left to go right or no that was a yeah that was a turn left to go right very confusing but guys that's avoidance mode for you if you're about to run into something and you know you're about to run into something and you need to go a, a direction very quickly to avoid it you actually want to drift in the opposite direction and then counter drift gag and lincoln turn right to go left the opposite direction and you'll be good if i didn't explain something well let me know because i'm trying to just like one take this thing upload it straight from game capture and boom avoidance and yeah i mean you can also do this like let's like show the opposite if i want to fall off the track for whatever reason but i'm on the left side of this of that like lamp post i'm like oh no turn left to go right boom we're off the track all right that's gonna be it gag and lincoln turn right to go left counter drifting counter steering um yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time